Welcome back for another VeChain Prize prediction analysis video. And at the time of this recording, VeChain continues to hold above the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart, which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up. We have also seen a break above a significant area of resistance at around the 0.02436 dollar mark. And after breaking above it, we saw a successful retest here on the 4 hour chart. And you can easily see that we have continued to see higher prices. And the next area of resistance that I'm watching out for lies at around the 0.03 dollar mark. So there are high chances that as long as VeChain continues to hold above the 0.02436 dollar mark, we can easily get another massive push to the upper side and get above the 0.3 dollar mark, 0.03 dollar mark in the next coming hours. VeChain has also continued to obey the ADO12 structures and zooming out here on the charts to give you my ADO12 analysis starting on the 11th of September where we made a low at around the 0.015 dollar mark. You can see that we picked in what I'm terming as the formation of this wave one. And after seeing the formation of that first wave, we saw a bit of a pullback in the formation of this wave too. And after getting the low for the second wave, we saw another impulse in the formation of this wave 3. Then a breakdown move in the formation of this wave 5. And there are high chances that whatever we are seeing at the moment is the final move to the upper side in the formation of this wave 5 to complete an even larger area to have count 1 to the upper side. And to get the minimum target areas for this wave 5, I can use a trend based Fibonacci connecting it from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1, then dragging the Fibs to the high of that wave 3, giving me a minimum target area for that wave 5 to the upper side at the Fib level 0 0.618 as the minimum. And that is at around the 0 0.02544 dollar mark which is an area that we have now fully maximized. But in case this movement continues to show a lot of strength, then we can easily get to the FIB level 1.618, which lies at around the 0.0293 dollar mark. And that is so close to my next area of resistance at around the 0.03 dollar mark. So that is the next move that I'm watching out here on the VeChain chart in case we continue to show that bullish momentum to continue gearing up and continue unlocking higher prices. We also need to have in mind that since we have fully maximized the minimum target areas, we can also get a pullback in the next coming hours. And in case such a movement plays out, then that will be suggesting that we have now picked in these five wave move to the upside. And in case we lose support at around the 0 0.02436 dollar mark, then I will be expecting a bit of a deeper pullback over here into an area that I can give you using the trend based Fibonacci, connecting it from the low of the first wave down here to the high of that wave 5 that we have at the moment, giving me an area between the Fib level 0 0.382 and the Fib level 0 0.5. And that is between the 0 0.0216 dollar mark and the 0 0.02 dollar mark. And that is the area within which we can expect a pullback into, then see a reversal to the upper side. But for now, I'm still expecting higher prices since we don't have any confirmations that we have picked in the formation of this wave 5. And as you can easily see, the momentum is still pointing to the upper side. So watch out for higher prices to our next area of resistance at around the 0.03 dollar mark. And I hope that video was of much help to you and I hope to catch you in the next one.